Greetings to y'all. Any of you that have managed to watch uh, one of our videos right through to the uh, end credits know that we give a shout out to Jillian for her styling magic. And here we are in front of Shelburne Barbers in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, where she has her chair. But as you can see, it's locked up tight and there's nobody here. And as we all know, it's just part and parcel of living through a pandemic. I call the mayor, you know, and the premier of the province, and I'm tempted to call the prime minister as well because all of these restrictions and distancing rules have their place, but there's been no thought at all given to providing ongoing support to social media influencers like myself. You know, I was pretty choked when the mayor didn't even know who I was, but was even more surprised that when I revealed to her that I had a channel with over 50 subscribers, she seemed totally unimpressed. It sounds to me like the politicians just don't want the voice of the 3D printing evangelist heard during this pandemic, and they're trying to silence me by going out of their way to ensure that I can't get access to essential goods and services to do my job. I mean, here's the facts. I need a haircut. I desperately need a haircut. But can I get the government to make an exception and track down Jillian and make her come to work to give me a badly needed trim? Not on your life. I will not be silenced. And as you will see in this video, I have used the power of 3D printing so that I and every single one of you can competently trim and style your hair for as long as this pandemic lasts. Stay tuned. Printable Science presents a set of 3D printed razor combs for all your personal hair grooming needs. This video has been made possible by the generosity of our patrons and viewers like you. As a kid, I remember seeing something like the Popeil or Ronco hair trimmer being advertised. It boasted that you could easily do a great job of cutting your hair and you'd never need to visit a barber or hairstylist again. Well, I guess it couldn't have been all that easy or it didn't do all that great a job or else barbers and stylists would all be out of work and everyone would be cutting their own hair with a Ronco hair trimmer. Well, I appreciate the irony of that statement given our current social distancing rules. And while most cutters and stylists are not working, it is not because they've all been replaced with the Ronco hair trimmer. They just stumbled into the bad luck of having chosen a profession that requires them to be more or requires them to be less than six feet to their clients. And as we all know, closer than six feet these days is considered to be a little too intimate. Even in these strange times, some of us still would like to keep our hair relatively trim. Who knows why? We don't see anybody. But unfortunately, the Ronco hair trimmer isn't made anymore. There are other alternatives out there. But the last time I tried to order anything online, it was giving me a two and a half month delivery window. Well, the concept of uh, these uh, trimmers is pretty straightforward. There's a comb mechanism to uh, catch and channel your hair and drag it across the exposed edge of a razor blade. The main thing I didn't like about the trim combs out there is that the edge of the blade is pretty close to the end of the tines in the comb. So without good motor skills uh, and hand-eye coordination, I was likely to end up with cutting my hair disastrously close and ending my YouTube uh, career prematurely. I mean, not that it really matters, but by the time this is all over, my hair will have outgrown any serious mistakes. So I, I have that to, to comfort me. But it struck me that it didn't have to work like that, uh, that the basic design wasn't uh, carved or cast in metal or carved in stone. And one could marry the trim comb with the guards that cutters and barbers use to shape your hair. You probably know what I mean. They're a larger, usually black plastic kind of attachment that fits on the end of an electric hair cutter. And what it does is back the blade off the scalp so that it just isn't possible to cut your hair shorter than the guard allows. Manufacturers of things like the Ronco hair trimmer could easily make trimming combs with different specifications so they offered the same flexibility, 
but that would dramatically increase the price of the end product. With 3D printing, even with eight different combs that match the cutting lengths of the guards used by professionals, we're still only looking at a few dollars of plastic. Now, blade guards come in different sizes with a number one guard leaving no less than one eighth of an inch of hair, and then increasing through sizes two through eight, with each increment protecting an additional one eighth of an inch of hair, which means that a size four won't let you cut your hair less than a half an inch long, and a number eight won't let you cut your hair shorter than one inch in length. So the design is pretty straightforward. We just create a cylinder that's twice the diameter of the uh, protected hair length, and we cut some slices of the cylinder into a comb, and then we stick a bit of a handle on it so it's easy to grab and move over our scalp, and then we cut the the cylinder in half and create a little tray for the razor blade to rest in and put in a hole to match the tapped out thread in the bottom of the comb. And once printed, it's a simple matter to place a blade on the try. And let me just show you how that works here. Once printed, it's a simple matter to uh, place a, a blade on the, uh, on the tray. And uh, bear in mind, folks, uh, razor blades are sharp. Uh, don't go... Uh, injecting them into your uh, veins or anything. And uh, let me just see if we can see that. And you can see there's uh, two little indents to, uh, or extrusions to hold the blade in place. And then we uh, put the comb portion up on top and snap it into place. And uh, you can see uh, just uh, the blade sticking out just a teeny bit there, but that's all we need. And then we take uh, the nut and uh, screw it in. Voila. The minimum bed size uh, you need for printing off the entire set is 50 by 98 by 26, so we can easily print this off the entire set with a printer as small as the Monoprice Select Mini. Now, all the pieces for this project were printed in PLA with two perimeters, two bottom layers, three top layers, a Z height of 0.2 millimeters, and an infill of 20%. Except for the thumb, <laughs> except for the thumb screws, you really need to print those at 80% or higher infill, or the thread will not be strong enough and it'll snap off when you even tie, even if you uh, try and attempt to just gently uh, tighten uh, it in place. You'll notice that uh, in these printed ones, I'll find it. You'll notice that there's a, a little tab on the front of the comb that you need to carefully remove from each comb that's printed. Like so. That simply serves as a little bit of brim on the front of the comb tines because without that brim, they'll likely lift from the build plate and, and your print will fail and your comb won't look very good. Okay, we're all done. But does it work? I don't know. I'm uh, not a hairstylist, but let's give it a go. I will uh, sacrifice my hair uh, for the science style here. Of course, everybody's head and face is different. I have this interesting hairline that sort of takes off that way and you know, it's kind of like, but what can you do? So uh, I'm going to start with a number eight, because here's my, uh, here's my thought. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause right now, and I'm just going to get my entire set of, uh, of uh, blades uh, or trimmers ready so we can watch this grand experiment, or this grand experiment can go smoothly. So just give me a second. Okay, so I think we're about ready to go. I got a strategy here. Uh, I figured what I'll do is I'll start with the with the biggest one, which is a a number a number eight, and uh, that uh, means uh, that'll protect an inch of hair. And uh, so if I go over all of this, and so I want it, you know, long on the top and shorter on the sides. I think that's uh, what's called short back and sides in the business, but I don't really know. So the point being here, of course, 
is that that is the uh, that's the protected length. If you press this part against your scalp, uh, it's not going to cut. Uh, it's always going to leave at least an inch of uh, hair there. And so, if you want it a little bit longer, then you can uh, have it hit a different part of your scalp, and and so on. So as I say going to uh, taper this a bit and we're going to go and do my whole hair head with an eight. Let's see how this goes. Hair has a natural nap to it and uh, you want to go against the nap. You're starting to get some hair coming off there. It's starting to get scary. Well, that doesn't seem to have taken be taking really all that much off so now I think we can go down to a seven it's still kind of long so let's try a, let's try the number seven now we'll try the uh, the number six and I'm still not getting a lot off here so I think we'll just continue on doing an overall thing with the overall uh, overall shaping of my hair with that So uh, the mem shows. I think uh, try number five now. I, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it kind of like tug at my hair, and uh, you know, I've seen that uh, lots of people when I was uh, doing some research suggest you, you if you're using this kind of uh, razor comb, then uh, you might want to put uh, some conditioning or uh, even some vegetable oil on your hair. Uh, don't inject it, and. Uh, we're just working there. We're trying to find out if this works, right? Now we'll try the number four. Well, let's see the three now. I don't know if we're doing much of anything, but we are getting rid of some air. I was going to step down to the two for these side burns anyway. And now we'll go down to the one. I think uh, clearly uh, I would. Uh, I'm gonna. I think what we really need to do is uh, go for the conditioner. Well, I'd say we're having some success here. I don't know if it's. Uh, still be looking forward to Tillian getting back to work. Well, it's all getting back to work. It's kind of doing its thing. And uh, I guess it'll keep me out of trouble till uh, they start living, so, lifting some of the uh, restrictions. But we're, you know, taking off. Uh, Fair amount of hair there. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do at the moment. But uh, I think that uh, I'd give this project about a about a six. The main thing going for it, or there's two really big things going for it. Number one, it's a safe way to cut your hair. You're not going to cut yourself up with a razor blade and stuff like that as long as it's, uh, you know, in its uh, in its cutter case. It's be really, really hard to, to hurt yourself with that. And secondly, it's also safe uh, in terms of uh, making big mistakes. You, you know, you start going near your, your hair with scissors and you can quickly cut off uh, more than you need. This, of course currently looks pretty ratty but after I uh, wash it I'm sure it'll uh, it'll look a lot better I, I noticed that you know the the sideburns are not as fly away as they were but uh, you know 
when I've got nothing to do and I'm just uh, waiting for, uh, I don't know, something to render or something like that, it's an easy thing to do. Now, I'm absolutely positive that Jillian would have done a vastly superior job. And I hope when all this is over, she'll take me back and cut my hair properly. But until that time, I will be cutting my own hair with a printable science hair trimmer set. And I hope you will find it useful during your days of isolation as well. You'll find a link below that'll hook you up with the STL files for all eight of the combs in this project. And uh, in, if even one inch of hair is a little short for you and you're one of our patrons, it's easy enough for you to order up an STL file for a comb of any other dimension you'd like. So there you have it. 3D printed hair trimmers for all your self-grooming hair needs that will flabbergast your friends, make you uh, make your less turned out enemies green with envy. And probably, although I can't say for sure, I mean maybe it will and maybe it won't, but I hope so, provide you with an extra layer of powerful protection against the COVID-19 virus. I mean, it could. I'd love to hear of your hair cutting exploits, and I encourage you to post or send me pictures of your hair cutting attempts. We can all get through this together as long as we're apart. Thanks for watching, and I just wanted to add that if you know Jillian, say hey to her from me, and I hope that she and her family are safe, comfortable, and protected. We're working on lots of neat projects and have some pretty interesting ones coming up soon, so I hope you'll keep in touch. As always, we also invite you to visit our website at printablescience.com where all the science that fits, we print.